but you know if you clicked on this video you know you know why um, uh, what I'm gonna talk about um, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna title it but I really thought I was gonna die a couple days ago something happened and um, I really thought I was gonna die straight and simple YouTube what's up guys so it is good to be back I know all right I know and I'm sorry I haven't really vlogged at all to be quite honest, the last week and a half, oh my gosh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, one second. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> As you can tell, I was pretty sick for the last week and a half. To be honest, I haven't really been able to vlog at all, and um, I've just been out of it, to be honest, ever since coming back from Treehouse, you know, posting all the videos from there, not really vlogging for about two a week and a half to two weeks and you know trying to get back into it and doing Q&A's and I didn't even vlog while I was sick. Today I'm back at work and it's a Friday. I worked from home from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday um, because I was that sick. I missed a lot of other activities that I was supposed to do um, due to it. But hey man, good news, I'm a lot better now. I can't wait to like get back into this, putting out more vlogs and do what I need to do. So right now it's about 3 p.m. I got off work early today, went to work at 7 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my house a little bit earlier than expected and just do some errands I need to do and do some things I need to take care of. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's go. Three, two, one, and. I'm so sick right now. <laughs> oh. All right, YouTube. What's up, guys? Um, <laughs> uh, the al my allergies are killing me right now, man. Um, it is extremely windy right now in California, and I feel like I'm dying right now. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my allergies have been acting up the whole day. But you know, if you clicked on this video, you know, you know why. Um, uh, what I'm gonna talk about, um, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna title it, but. I really thought I was gonna die. A couple days ago, something happened, and um, I really thought I was gonna die. Straight and simple. Um, well, pretty much what happened is I was at work, and um, it was around 10 a.m., got to work around eight or seven. And as I was coding at work, what happened was that um, I started blacking out, and I noticed it too. And so I was like coding, right? I was like typing at work, and I was coding, and I noticed like everything was blacking out, and I was falling, and I caught myself right before I hit my computer. And um, it was really scary because, I mean, first of all, I wasn't doing anything strenuous, right? I had breakfast, <laughs> I had coffee. Um, I wasn't doing anything strenuous at all. I wasn't stressed, I wasn't working on anything stressful. What happened is I started blacking out out of nowhere and I got terrified and I stood up and I'm like, what the heck just happened? What's my manager? I'm like, dude, I almost blacked out. And I got worried. I'm just being chill and calm about it and I went on my day, but actually for the next two to three hours after that, I felt like fainting, I felt weak. I'm like, what's going on? You know, and I wanted to go to the urgent care. <laughs> like I really wanted to go to urgent care right then and there, but you know, I was at the hospital three or four times a week prior due to having a bad flu, right? Not throwing up and etc. Um, having pneumonia and etc. right? And I'm like, no, I don't want to go to hospital again because it might look like I'm fake. And I, I know, I know what you guys are gonna say in the comment section, right? Stupid Chris, if you faint like that and you feel weak and you go to urgent care. I know, but man, after just being in a hospital so much and visiting a doctor over and over and over again, there, sometimes it comes to a point you don't want to go back. But I admit it was dumb on my part. And, you know, I went on my day and I ate some food and I felt much better. Um, um, other than that, I still felt a little bit dizzy, uh, but you know, I felt a little bit better. But what happened was that as I reached 4 p.m., um, I started feeling dizzy again. Not just that, um, uh, I, I went home, right? I, I made it to my house, I left work early, got home around four or five. I was, I was sitting on my couch, like literally, like check it out. I was sitting on, oh shoot, I was sitting on, check this out, I was sitting, uh, on that couch right there, literally right there. All right, let me put this back. <coughs> but yeah, I was sitting on my couch right over there, and out of nowhere, I was like working on stuff, coding, 
<coughs> I was actually editing my next video. Again, it was nothing strenuous, but, and I was sitting down on the couch, my heart started beating really fast. And I was actually about to go to the gym. And I was like, where, like, what the heck's going on? I'm just sitting down again. My heart was beating super fast. I couldn't take deep breaths. I was beat, my, I had very short breaths and I could barely breathe. I called my mom, I'm like, mom, what's going on? My mom like, said, Chris, go to the doctor. I told, I had a meeting that night and I told the person, I'm so sorry, I can't make it to the meeting. And I was honestly terrified. Um, yeah, it was something I've never felt before, uh, to be honest. Uh, and I didn't know what was going to happen because my family has a history of heart problems, hence me going vegan and trying to be more healthy. Now I have to admit, I think because I have been vegan for the last four months and lost almost 30 pounds in th four months, my health is much better because I used to have high blood, that's gone. I was supposed to have diabetes my, by now, now I don't. My liver wasn't doing good, now it's good. You know, um, I had high cholesterol, now it's not as high, but still a little high, it's going, it's going down. Um, and I was really scared. And so I drove all the way to urgent care. And um, as I got to urgent care, they told me it was gonna be a three hour wait, right? And I told them what was wrong with me. My heart was hurting, I blacked out at work. I came straight here because of my house, my heart was beating really fast, I could barely breathe. And they told me it was gonna take a two to three hour wait to see the doctor. And what happened is that, actually I was watching a movie on Netflix trying to make time pass by. I'm like, oh my gosh, two to three hours is gonna take a long time. They brought me straight into the nurse. After 20 minutes, they tested me, they said, Chris, what's going on? I told them what happened. They checked my high blood, high blood's good. My blood sugar, my um, levels was good. Um, then they said, Chris, because you you know told us what happened, we needed an EKG. They brought me to the room, brought me to EKG. And he asked me questions, the nurse was asking me questions. They did a test. He didn't tell me what my results were, but um, he got quiet. <laughs> he left the room immediately, brought the results to the doctor, and he says, Chris, usually people go home after this, but because you told us you blacked out and because you said your heart was hurting, um, here's your results, the EKG. You need to see a doctor upstairs right now. Went upstairs, there was a low wait, I waited about an hour, finally saw a doctor, um, and they said that I had a symptom for something um, with my heart, and it was kind of terrifying. Now, I'm okay, I'm healthy, okay? Um, but what happened is that at that moment, as my heart was really hurting, not, I, I'm not gonna lie, um, yeah, I was kinda like tearing up at the hospital. First, number one, because I was by myself, no one was with me. My family lives out of state, my family lives in Northern California, I'm all by myself here. Um, and I was terrified, and I really thought I was gonna die at that moment because I felt like fainting, I didn't know what was going on. What, my heart has never hurt like that before. And the reason that I'm making this video, and it's not even about code, at all is because waiting in urgent care or in that room with all these wires all over my body to check my heart doing the EKG and what I thought about was man if I die today like and I thought about it, no one will really care now I mean okay I know what you guys are gonna say I know people will care of course people will care you know but I thought about it um, I had a friend in high school who went to the beach and he was stabbed to death. Now he wasn't like a close, close friend of mine, he was a friend I know of at school. But when he died, I thought about it. Oh shoot, he died. Then I remember three days later thinking, and now I remember like just a couple hours after that actually. I remember thinking, I remember that I just forgot about it, I moved on. Never thought about it again. Um, I heard about my uncle, I wasn't close to him, but he died literally just, he literally just died. He fell in the elevator, blacked out, and it was something, I forgot what it was, but he just died overnight. I heard about it, I got sad, I cried for a couple days. Next two to three weeks later, I was fine and I moved on. And I thought about it, now it's not bad, and I, but what I thought about was, if that was to happen to me, yeah, people will mourn. But eventually they moved on, why? Because they have to. There's no choice, they have to move on. And so I thought about it like, when I say it, like, I was thinking about it, no one really cares. Not, not like, as if they're bad, but they have to move on. And so I thought about, like, as I'm living right now, with the opportunities I have now, I really have to take advantage of it. Um, I really only have one life to live because when it's, once it's over, it's over. Like, more than anyone else, who has to care about my life, my future, is myself. My family is myself. Uh, you know, unless, you know, and I think a lot of us have to realize that that. You never know when your life will end, honestly. And knowing that, like, what would you do with your life, guys? I mean, if I was to die, I mean, I'm very happy. I mean, I'm content with what I'm doing, my life. What I thought about my family, 
you know, um, and like, would I be content leaving them the way they are? And no, I wouldn't be. You know, who's gonna take care of my mom? You know, my loved ones. And I want to make sure they're taken care of. Uh, and what I'm, the reason I'm recording this, you know, I realize that the videos I've been making is all about how to do this, how to do that. But I remember the original purpose and why I made this channel was to document my life. To document myself as I'm growing in this industry, as I'm learning and code, as I'm getting better and just everything in life in general. And I don't want to make any videos just for views anymore. I don't want to make any videos just to get more subscribers. But I want to make these videos because I love making videos. I love documenting my life. I love documenting everything. And I honestly feel like everything I've been doing was just, you know, to get more subs or views. But I don't want to do that anymore. I want to document everything, record myself, and post it on YouTube. Talk about my thoughts and post it on YouTube. Make cool edits like I love to do, post it on YouTube. Share everything with you guys and really grow and change our lives together. Uh, you only have one life. And me really thinking about how I really thought how I almost, I thought I was going to die. I want to do things differently. I want to do things that make me happy. Do the things I love. Do the things with church the way I want to do. So what I'm saying is for you guys yourself, continue. Do what you love. Find what it is, even if it's not coding. Find what you love and go all out and be happy. That's what's most important. All right, guys. I gotta go. There are people at home. So thank you for watching. This is Krishan, Life Web Developer, and I'm out.